Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to be discussing the Vibrance, Valvia and the Color Correction modules. Remember, if you can't see any of the modules in your Dark Table, you will have to enable them in the More Modules panel. Now let's start with the Vibrance module. The Vibrance module acts on the most saturated pixels in your image and what it does is it darkens them and adds more saturated to them. The effect makes the colors of the photo look more vivid. Let's enable it and see. If you push it to the right it increases the effect. Pushing it to the left decreases it. What I like about this module is, it, is that it's very difficult to overdo it. Of course, pulling it to 100 is almost never required. But somewhere around 50 or 60 adds a nice punch to your photo. Let's see the effect before, after. Remember, the brightness is reduced. The most saturated pixels will be even more saturated, but they will be darkened. Next, we have the Velvia module, which is named after uh, films from Fujifilm. The Velvia module works on saturation as well, but it's almost the opposite of Vibrance. It works on the saturation, but it gives more weight to black, white and low saturated pixels. It does not affect the brightness. Let's enable it. The first slider you have is the strength of the effect. As usual, pulling it to the right increases the effect and to the left reduces it. Zero is no effect at all and the default is 25%. Unlike the Vibrance, I find that it's really easy to exaggerate this effect and produce oversaturated and overprocessed images. The next slider is the midtone bias, which reduces the effect on the midtones. This is helpful on a portrait photo where you have a lot of skin tones that you would like to protect. Reducing it increases the whole effect on the photo, as you can see. In general, if you're not working on a portrait, then you can safely reduce this one and adjust the strength your liking. As I said, it's more or less the opposite of the Vibrance. You could try using them together, but it just feels as if you're uh, adding saturation to the whole image. I usually try to see which ones gives the better effect to my photo. I find that the Velvia works best for um, images with lots of colors distributed all around the image while vibrance works best if you have a rather dull image with one colorful subject then you can make that subject pop out by enhancing its saturation as for the color correction module you can use it to either split tone the image and that means give a different tint to the highlights than the shadows or to give it a single tint to the whole image and you can do that by changing this white and black dots the white dot cont uh, controls the tint of the highlights while the black dot controls the tint of the shadows you can use this module to uh, emulate cinematic effects, dual tones, split tones that you see frequently like the uh, 
orange, teal, or any color combination that you like. You have a slider here for saturation, which, as you might expect, controls the saturation of the image. And that's about it. It's uh, an easy module, just like the other two. Well, that's it for this time. I hope that you found this uh, video uh, interesting and entertaining. If you have any recommendations, corrections or questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.